Hey guys, this is White Tech, and today I will be comparing Counter Strike Global Offensive versus Pavlov. Both are first person shooters, with the biggest difference being CSGO is played with mouse and keyboard, and Pavlov is played with a virtual reality headset like an HTC Vive. Now, I hear a lot of people say that Pavlov is basically CSGO for VR, and I wanted to see how close to it it really is. So, the hardest part in doing this is matching both games. I try my best to mimic the movements, but it isn't perfect. We'll start off comparing up the map Pool Day. This is originally a map for Counter Strike 1.6, but with the help of the Steam Workshop, we can get the map in both games. Links will be in the description if you want to play on either game. So, ignoring map layouts and the chickens, the first thing you notice is the quality of the textures and the details is really different. Many reasons for this. For one, hardware limitations. It is much harder to run VR games than regular games. There's all the calculations with the head tracking and such, so VR games must tone down the graphics a bit to get better frame rate. Another thing we notice is the movements. So in VR, you are the controller. Well, you know what I mean. There's no button for reloading, so you really have to do the reloading. This means a firefight can become a lot more stressful in VR, and that can give you a lot of funny moments. But one big advantage that Pavlov has over CSGO is you don't really have to look at the same place as your gun. So while aiming in one direction, you can still aim your gun at the door, for example, while looking out a window. So now let's take a look at a couple of guns. Here we have the AK-47. The reloading in Pavlov is not an animation. You actually have to take out the clip and grab a new one. So while CSGO is prettier, I find Pavlov to be a lot more natural and not as repetitive. Next we have the MP9. Not sure if these are the same weapons in both games, but it is close enough. Another big difference is the sound of the weapons. I personally find Pavlov to have the better sounding guns, but that comes down to personal preference. To finish off, we have the UMP45. I like both of these games, but if I had to choose my favorite one, it would have to be Pavlov. I have a friend that has a vibe also. And I must say Pavlov is the most fun I have had gaming in a while. Virtual reality is quite an experience and playing with friends makes it even better. Hope you guys enjoyed. Consider subscribing. Bye guys.